Okay. Okay. Welcome everyone to the December 5th uh, water and sewer meeting. Uh, we'll begin it by approving the November 7th minutes. Somebody make a motion. So moved. Okay, so moved. Okay, so we'll start off with pump station progress. It looks like. So yeah, since we met last, uh, there's been quite a bit of work getting done down there. Mm -hmm. um, it's completely paved, uh, both binder and top. So we're at finished grade um, with the whole square area. Fence posts are in, uh, electric is in, gas is in. As I said last month, force mains in, gravity sewers in. Um, we're waiting for, uh, we have a terrible supply chain issue with our electrical components. Still. Yep. Okay. And I sent an email yesterday and, was in, uh, requesting something in writing from Elm Electric, who is the, uh, who is the subcontractor for Raymakers. Because um, it kind of just left it open ended, and I want something back from them stating that, you know, I mean, here we are. Where are we with this? Uh, Let's and, get something from the man. The, yeah, that, the so supplier. So that's coming this week. And, and uh, I'll, let's ask him for a date certain that that stuff will I be. I don't here. think they'll give it to him. That's well, the that manufacturer ought to. They ought to. I understand. So well, that's what they're reaching out to. So let's ask for that. Yeah, we. I did. Okay. Oh, the, the, I asked our engineer to do that. Okay. And he's going to get back to me. Perfect. Um, what else? Um, yeah, they, they need to put a top on. Uh, there's a manhole in between the store and the new station. They just need to put a frame and cover and one riser on that. Um, they can't do any more grading down there because they have to remove the old station eventually. Oh, that's true. So they can't spread the topsoil. They can't put the driveway in, you know, finish that because it's going to be paved up. There's going to be a paved ramp up to the <clears throat> to the area. But it's, nice it's definitely it defined now. People, you can tell what it's going to be like. Oh, yeah, it's going to be nice. On the road, it looks nice. Yeah, it you is. Know? It's. It looks I mean, they have done a really some really nice work down there, and it's just just a shame that we're held up by by supply chain. You know, it really it's is. It's colder now, and you know, it starts, it's, things start to freeze, and then yeah. It, I mean, so I think that sometime in the next month or so, hopefully, we'll be online, and then um, whether they can work through the winter uh, to to remove the other station and fill it up with with gravel, and then. Um, Obviously, had not be able to plant, plant you know, grass this year. But they'll have to come back in the spring and do some work. They can't put the fence up yet because they need to put the generator in there. Uh, because when, once we once we test the station under regular power, um, they'll move the generator over. Then we'll test it under generator power, and then we'll be able to tie over. Mm -hmm. So we're very close. It's just, believe me, nobody's more frustrated than me. Yeah, this has been a long haul. Well, the last two and a half weeks, we've had a lot of trouble with the other one. And it's always on a weekend for some reason. It doesn't like to cooperate on Saturdays and Sundays. The one over in uh, no the Park Street pump state. The one oh 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 the up of course. And for good reason, we're getting rid of it. Just in the nick of time. Yeah, I mean I was down in there four times today. Just not cooperating. It's old and parts are wearing out, and it's just been a nightmare in the last couple of weeks. But well, we're trying to get, get we're trying to get to the finish line here. Yeah, hopefully. Good, good. Uh, the I and I phase four that's going to be done. You said in January, Tony. Uh, no, the 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 sewer um, the sewer uh, the sewer plan is going to be done in January. The sewer needs analysis. Um, okay. This really doesn't have a finish date. It's going to be done by spring, and we have to submit it by by May thirty one, I think. So, um, so sometime between then and now and then, um, we should have some some info on that. Um, I spoke to you guys, I think, last month about um, the unaccessibility to all the manholes in Beechwood. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we need to talk about that. Is Budget time creeps up, and uh, maybe put some money aside to to remedy or work with Beachwood in parallel with because uh, they're going to take a pretty um, aggressive approach on fi uh, fixing the roads every year, do, doing you know different ones. So maybe we can be, get out ahead of that and um, find our structures and uh, somehow get them up to grade, and they can grade to them. I don't know how that's all going to work. Uh, that's to be determined, but that, uh, we need to get a better handle on it. It's all gravel roads down there anyway. Right? <laughs> we, yeah, it's all going to stay gravel. So we need to yeah. get a better infrastructure, a better handle on where, our, I mean, we know where they are on, on map, but, you know, that doesn't help us in the middle of the night when there's an emergency or the ground's frozen. So. <laughs> yeah, where are they? Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. uh, the sewer water articles? Uh, hmm. You know, phase four, obviously underway. Uh, sewer needs analysis, obviously underway. 
<coughs> excuse me, nothing's really changed since last month with us. Okay. Yeah, I just put in them there every month just to um, see if there is, has been any changes at all. So, and uh, master plan, anything, Mike, with a nothing, nothing with the master plan yet. The, <coughs> I think I stated last month we they have a GIS guy now, so I got a guy. I just, I'll 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 check in with them. Um, and see where they're at. I was told I'm going to. I would be contacted just to kind of finish up that portion of it, but I haven't been. No, nobody's reached out to me yet. Um, the other uh, water article, uh, the painting has been completed in the water plant. Um, uh, Ted TC finished up uh, by Monday. I guess it was probably Monday or so. Uh, it looks. It looks. It looks awesome in there. Stop, improvement. stop down when you have a minute and, and check it out. It looks, it's, I was going to send an email with some pictures, but I took so many, I don't know which ones to send before and after. It, it's just, it looks, it looks, Did they it looks. Did they office too, Mike? No, this is, this was all the piping, the filters, everything out in the, in the. It was a big job. Process area. Yeah, it was a, it was. It's all two, manual labor, wasn't it? Yeah, two, two months at least to do it all. It looks like it's brand new. Yeah, yeah. Didn't do the walls or anything because the wall with portion a couple of portions of the walls that were getting a little banged up, but um, and some painting had failed. But um, yeah, it looks it looks fantastic. Good, excellent. Um, the stewardship. Nothing. We're, we're That's why I just put meeting. I, yeah, we have we have yet to have a meeting, and we have to reorganize. Uh, uh, we, we're probably going to reorganize with. Because we have some deadlines, I was talking to Jamie about it. We have some deadlines regarding, you know, creating that uh, document for the watershed. So we're going to get on that very soon. Friday morning at eight, I believe, right? Yeah. Yep. You you doing any more testing, or is that done? no? That's done. That's all. That's uh, all set for, till next year. Okay. Uh, moving right along, uh, the, the January. Uh, the next meeting is going to be the 15th instead of the second, um, or the first uh, Tuesday of the month. Remember? Uh, yep. That's the day after New Year's, right? I mean, yeah, yeah. Kind of close to the holiday. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, the next meeting, everybody note that, and Jennifer, I'm sure, will make sure that we know uh, that it's the 16th. Is it okay if I just ask a question? Sure. sure. Just about the uh, Kevin Lilly from Camp Mackinac um, regarding the master plan and the timing for, I, I under, as far as I'm understanding, it's going to be a little more concrete in January. We've had some news at camp through our shutdown and looking forward, we're going to have to make a sizable investment in our plant. Like I'm talking decent and, um, you know, Obviously, we'd rather invest in the town than investing in a system that we're going to going to need to get the return on investment on. But there is a part of our system that was put in in 1998 that is getting to its lifespan. Uh, we've started to go through it, um, so we're getting to a point where we're going to have to also not put pressure, but we're going to have to make a decision at some point whether we invest in our system or whether we hopefully can invest in whatever needs we need to do to be able to connect to the town system mm -hmm. and what that implication is with the master plan. So, you know, I know our neighbors have gotten to a point where they've sort of already made some decisions based on where they think this is going. They're in a little bit more luxury because they don't have the capacity that, I mean, they're not making the waste that we're making. Whereas, you know, for us, it's a completely different kind of circumstance. We're talking, you know, upwards of probably six figures that we're going to have to consider which direction is the right direction to go. Mm -hmm. And that's coming probably sooner than, <laughs> definitely sooner than we want it to come to. Yeah. You know, DEP may give us leeway because they know that this might be part of the, you know, like there's a lot of parts moving in here. And we just yep. wanted to kind of let you guys know that <laughs> yeah. much rather come your way than go. We know Mackinac is out and yeah. concerned. Yeah rather than invest in ourselves, we'd rather invest in you guys. Mm -hmm. Makes total sense. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, we don't want to be in the water treatment business. I mean, at all. <laughs> Much rather leave that to Tony yeah. and the team and 
us be in on it. So, um, yeah, just, you know, things that we've, we've found since I wasn't here at the, the November meeting, but since we found, since we shut the system down, that we've got some, some potential big things on the horizon that we're going to need to address. I'd much rather address it with you guys than with not. Sure. Again, makes sense. Appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Um, Mike, anything? So um, the meeting on January 16th, right? I think you said the 15th. Yeah, I did say 15th. 16th. It's 16th here. So the third Tuesday. And that do that's mainly because of the, uh, or no, is that the, that must be the February meeting, I think. We'll be reading meters soon. So I know that's, maybe that's the, is that the, yeah, that's what this is for, right? Yeah, because uh, Erica will be out on maternity leave. So this will give us time to read the meters, get the warrant um, all set up. Um, there's the commitment. And then before Erica has to go out, she can get the bills out, and then they can be collected when she's gone. Okay. Are, are you guys starting to think already about a budget for next year? Uh, yeah, that, <laughs> nothing, nothing, you know, I think we're going to meet with Mike next week. We, we have our DPW monthly meeting. I'm sure that'll be a topic. Yeah, that, that seems to go a lot smoother than what it, how it used to be years ago. Yeah. Too many meetings Too many years meetings. ago. Yeah. Meeting with, yeah, those so hopefully are gone. So yes. Yes. Can you you calling on us? Yes. Yeah. You went, okay. would you would you identify yourself? Yes. I'm Gary sure. and Shelly Goldman. We live at Three Lake Drive Extension in Stockbridge, Mass. <laughs> and we were asked to attend the meeting by Beth Nathan, who's the president of the Lake Drive Association. Unfortunately, she was unable to make it. Yeah, we just been, uh, uh thank you for having us. Um and we we love living in Stockbridge. Anyways, um, I just wanted to find out. We're wondering how and if Lake Drive is being considered in the master plan because it's been stated at Select Board Conservation and the Stockbridge Bowl stewardship meetings that the town recognizes the importance of sewerizing the rest of Stockbridge Bowl to protect the lake from old septic systems. I just wanted to um see where we're at on that oh i can yeah tony the sewer superintendent will <laughs> so the last time beth was in a meeting um she updated me with the uh the list of everyone in your neighborhood and the complete people that live in lake drive and um <clears throat> i passed all that information along i think a lot of it was good uh had old inf old inf old information about old septic systems um kind of dates and stuff and all that's been given to the Tritone Board of Health as well as our uh, consulting engineer that's doing the study. So Lake Drive is definitely being looked at. It'll definitely be, you know, um, part of the uh, results of, you know, what they look at from uh, from their uh, data. Yeah, because our, like our concern, our cottage is 55 years old and it has the original uh septic system so i know there's a few other older places there like ours so i'm just concerned about some of the older places and the possible seepage into stockbridge bowl uh, i can i can tell you that they are taking a look at lake drive and um, it will be included in the study okay great thank you very much <laughs> okay tony do you have anything else Peter? all set Okay, someone make a motion. I move that uh, we Second. conclude the meeting for December 5th, 2020. An excellent year. Yes. So moved. Good. All right.